Any news on the anti-gravity front regarding a breakthrough? I'll listen to rumors, if that is all we have. Um, really want a personal UFO. I think I know who this is. <laughs> Jason, Jason Verbelli should be here. <clears throat> he probably knows. Um, I will go with this. Uh, one of the things I think with anti-gravity is the fact that um, you sort of look at it like right now. We can barely handle ourselves on like, you know, I-95, places like that with cars. <laughs> Do you even think that the average person is going to be allowed to have an anti-gravity device until we can emotionally and spiritually handle a device like that? then all of a sudden, you know, we will have it. We do have the technology to do uh, Mike Walters um, VTOL. It is unbelievable what that guy has put together in that unit. I, I like the idea that Mike will take us into the uh, new Jetson era. Yes. And that's what I think. Yep. I think he's going to take us into the age of flight yeah. when, we, when we look at that. And, and it will be really sweet. And the funny thing about that, what Mike's, uh, Mike's really looking for, if you put a million dollars into this, he can work at my lab and go ahead and develop a quarter scale model that will represent everything in that. You get somebody just like, you know, uh, Bozy or, or all these rocket guys. They, I mean, that's, they throw $10 million, it's chump change to them. And then he can be able to build one because the beauty of this is his design is the parts are already there. It's the same thing that I design my stuff with is I deal with parts that already are there. Yeah. Why make something that, you know, you, you have to re-engineer. All you want manufacturers to do right now is outsource it. You bring the parts in, you have assembly lines, you create work for other people that are out of work, and then you build beautiful products. And it's all about how you want the planet to look. You want to have a beautiful planet or you don't.